<clears throat> going to a photo shoot. Oh, I need to leave like ASAP for that. <clears throat> going to a photo shoot right now on the house on Franklin, that investment property that you guys have seen. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting those pictures. Not getting the type of traffic that I want right now on it. Um, so these pictures will definitely help out and then I'll be doing the video tour on it too with the uh, Quick App Q-U-I-K Q-U-I-K with the Quick App on it so you guys will get to see that firsthand and then I've got a closing in between there I'm gonna go to a post office and I'm gonna take care of the dogs too so GPS says I will be there four minutes early writing down the mileage I've got some new notebooks in I just haven't had a chance to uh, put them in the car yet so this morning I've been updating my escrow spreadsheet working on some negotiations on a couple offers and I've got a call a seller and just ask if he wants to build a new abstract so because they haven't found it yet and the buyers would like to close ASAP so I've got to call that agent and that seller and update them both and yeah looking forward to all that stuff and I've got a grocery pickup I gotta do so all right, guys. If I get some good videos, oh yeah, you'll see, you'll see the uh, house in Jones again. I'll put that video that I shoot behind this video so you can see it. And at the closing, I'll probably do a video to the closing. The speed on this road is 55, so I never pull out in front of anyone. All right. Uh, oh, also, if you get a new phone and your Google Voice uh, app is on there, you have to disconnect that number and reconnect that number on the Google Voice app so that it works. I missed three days worth of voice bells. So I was returning a bunch of phone calls this morning too. And on the Yee Light, if you hold the camera upside down on the players, it's going to be upside down. Even if the camera makes it look right side up, it's going to be upside down on the players. So you have to rotate that during editing. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Okay, just uh, finished the uh, feeding the dogs at the old house, and now I am heading to the pre-signing for tomorrow's closing. Super thankful for all the business. Uh, this is that Rich Haven house that I just uploaded the video on putting the sold magnets out last night, uh, and we're closing it tomorrow. 
the roofer said he'll be halfway done today on the roof so I've got to let the buyer's agent know that they're gonna be finished up tomorrow so I'm gonna pass that info along after the pre-signing pre-signings at 430 just did the photo shoot on Franklin they'll get me the photos back tomorrow or Friday which will be great and I've got to go to the post office drop off some letters to some vacant lot owners I've got a customer that's interested in a specific neighborhood that still has some vacant lots in it so I've got to drop those letters off and then I'm buying my endorsements on my ENO policy for two years uh, for the office that I closed down when I when they came out with MLS choice NAR came out with MLS choice last year in July and what that enables is before when an agent needed to join an MLS everyone in the office would have to join the MLS at least here in the Oklahoma MLS's well that would have been absurd for my broker to have to make all his agents join one MLS just for me so I I, uh, I had my broker associate license already so I just opened up my own office so I could have both those MLS's and as soon as they came out with MLS Choice, I went back to my old brokerage. And, because uh, I don't like being an island. I mean, my old broker is amazing. Yeah, my current broker, who was my old broker, he's amazing. Uh, I've been with him six and a half years before that. And then I had to open up my own office for three years, three and a half years, three and a half years. So that I could have access to both MLS's. But then they came out with MLS Choice, so I went back to my old brokerage. And now I've got access to the, the two MLS's that I need. And I don't, the, everyone in his office doesn't have to join. So that was awesome. So uh, what can we talk about today? You know, what, what, what do real estate agents need to do to continue to have business? Um, definitely social media and live videos I think social media and live videos keeps you top of mind with your sphere and it also keeping you top of mind with your sphere it gets you referrals because your sphere is like man you got to call my agent he's he's always doing business he's very successful call him so social media live videos number one number two direct mail your sphere at least six times a year Mother's Day Father's Day 4th of July New Year's football schedules and uh, Thunder basketball schedules at least do those six if you're not gonna do those six you got to do something to hit them at least six times a year um, you gotta stay in touch with everyone you know. If you stay in touch with everyone you know and they know you do business and they like you, trust you, they'll wanna do business with you and they'll refer you to all their friends and family. So stay in touch with your sphere and constantly putting stuff out there that you're in the business of real estate. I, I really think that's the key to it. Uh, when people need help offer them vendors like you're gonna meet a lot of people in this business you're gonna meet roofers lawn care companies you're gonna meet a ton of people reach out to them with vendors when you see they need help on their social media like if they're asking for uh, a carpenter or a handyman send them a carpenter or handyman's contact info put it on their social media post and then also text it to them you know that way they've always got your phone number you know they might go who's this if they go who's this you're not reaching out to them enough. You have to reach out to them and make sure they've got your number. You don't want to be a secret agent. I don't know where that's from, but that's funny. A lot of people use it. All right. Well, I'm going to that, uh, like I said, pre-signing. Super thankful for the customer's business. Uh, super excited that they're closing on their house. And I will see you guys on the next clip.
Okay. Um, I think that was closing 36. Yes, I think that was closing 36. No, 37. That was closing 37 for the year. I thought I just had a cookie in my hand, but I guess I don't. So, or if I did, I don't know what I did with it. So, <clears throat> amazing, amazing customers. That was a pre-signing. That wasn't the closing. Tomorrow will be the closing. Now I've got to go to the Walmart pickup, grab the groceries for the family. The wife already placed that order. And then today's Wednesday. I'm going to go home and I'm going to try to do a little Bible study with the family if the kids are up for it. And yeah, that's, that's really it. Um, you guys, thank you. Thank you for all your referrals, all your business. Just loving it. Just, just, God, I'm so thankful. Uh, Amy was able to go to the closing. She brought little Mer Miriam, Miriam too. So that was awesome. And yeah, just great, excellent work day today. The video you saw at 11 o'clock, 11.45, coming out on the YouTube channel, that, that pre-signing was for that closing. So I've got to call the other agent right now, let him know the roof is three quarters of the way done. And that's really it for the day. I've got to schedule a showing for after this closing tomorrow in Wellston. So tomorrow afternoon's pretty booked out too. And then we've got inspections on Friday. So um, you guys got real estate questions, put them in the comments below. And yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you guys on the next clip.